What is good, ghosts? This is Kuzu Ranger coming at you from Japan. The goal of this series is to give tips for the average player. Today's mini topic is uplink mode, which can be won in two ways. You can either kill all enemy players, just like in regular elimination, or you can hack the uplink for the victory. With the current meta, most people generally play the game like normal elimination. However, that doesn't mean you have to follow the same trend. Personally, I feel a lot more satisfied getting the win by playing the actual objective. With that said, you cannot play careless. You have to watch your teammates constantly and try to keep the game from getting lopsided. Of course, teamwork and working together is essential as always. So when I see my buddy t Unit get taken out, twice in fact in this game, I check my surroundings and make sure it's safe, and then I go revive him as soon as possible. I also highly recommend the Disruptor class for this mode since most of the action typically takes place around the center of the map. There are at least two times when the enemy had no clue, nor did I, that he was standing right next to me when I was firing, thanks to the radar jamming ability. So the reason I go to the uplink at the end of this game is simply because I felt confident in my teammates and didn't want the game decided in the usual way. It takes some strategy to know when to go for the uplink and I felt it was a good time since we were up 4-2 or even at 3-2 and I knew my teammates were engaging and distracting the enemy. So to sum it up, uplink is usually played very similar to elimination, but it does offer different strategies since you need to think first before hacking the comps. Alright, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more Ghost Recon gameplay and tips. Thanks for watching guys, this has been Kuzu Ranger. Peace.